<laughs> well, thank you very much for coming along this afternoon and a special thanks to Nigel and Rachel for opening up their home and their pool for us this afternoon. Let's just give them a, a round of applause yeah. and say thank you. So, yeah, we're here to uh, witness the baptism of Nicola and Mark. We know that they've been walking with the Lord for a while. And uh, they joined us, what, you came along first time in April, was it? No, no January. about January. Was it January? As long ago as that. Yeah. Well, you feel like you've been with... <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> feel like you've been with us forever and you really have fitted in. And this... <laughs> is that in a good way or bad way? No, no, it's, it's definitely a good way. And we love having you as part of, uh, part of the fellowship. Uh, but part of an important uh, part of becoming a Christian is parting th uh, passing through the waters of baptism. It's a part of uh, indicating that you are identifying with Jesus in his death, burial, and his resurrection. So uh, I've got a verse that I want to read. Uh, this is from John chapter 11. And this is on the occasion of the death of Lazarus. Lazarus was a friend of Jesus and he was sick. And when they called for Jesus to come, Jesus delayed, and by the time he turned up, Lazarus was already dead. And there were people mourning and wailing, uh, breathed at the loss of Lazarus. And then this is what Jesus said, reading in, I think, verse 25. Um, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? And she said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into this world. So can I ask Mark and Nicola, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Christ, the Son of God, who has come into this world to save people from their sins? Yes. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And even though Lazarus was dead and buried in the ground, when Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth, he rose again. And... When people go through the waters of baptism, they are effectively dying to their old life and rising to a new life. When you become a Christian, your old life dies and a new life comes. And there is a sign that your old life has uh, died and your new life has come. You start to speak different, you start to behave different, you live differently. I'm sure Carrie Ann's seen a change in, their parent, in her parents over the last year or two, have you? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> been a little bit more weirder, have they? <laughs> I, think we, yeah, I, think, I, think, I think we can all testify that Mark's a little bit weird, can't we? Um, that, that is because they have died to their old life and started a new life in Jesus. And when they go through the water, they are symbolically showing that they, their old life is over, their new life has come. And that new life is in Jesus. And it means that they not only have said goodbye to their past, but they're saying hello to a new future. A future which promises eternal life. Jesus Christ will come again. And when he comes, everybody will rise. But some people will rise to share an eternal life with him. Some people will rise to everlasting judgment. And it's down to you to choose whether you'll put your faith in Jesus' hands or whether you'll put your life in your own hands. If you put your life in your own hands, then you're going to everlasting judgment. But if your life in God's hands, in Jesus' hands, then you have ever to everlasting life. And this is what we're celebrating here this morning. The fact that Mark and Nicola have passed from their old life into everlasting life. Now, Calvary Maystone, we believe in the priesthood of all believers. It doesn't need some special leader up the front to baptise somebody. They just need to be somebody who is born again and believes in Jesus. So we've asked Dennis to help with the baptisms this morning. And when I feel the temperature of this water, yeah. I feel very much like I've made the right choice. <laughs> I don't know which order we're going to go in, whether it's going to be Mark first or Nicola first, but you're going to help out with one another. Um, so when they go down, that commemorates their old life coming to an end. And when they rise up, it commemorates them coming to new life. And so I want everybody to cheer and applaud when they come up again. OK? Right. I'm going to hand things over to Dennis now. I'm going swimming, by the way. Oh, so. please. But please don't trip
<laughs> it, might, it might be good to face this way and then go back that way okay. and up again. The reason being, when we did Rachel here last year, we went that way and we almost brained her on the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> no, no. oh, seriously. I'm more sensitive. <laughs> Sorry, 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 maybe, maybe just forward a little bit, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So if you put your hand across your chest, I'm going to talk to you. Okay. So I'm confession of your faith, I baptise you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to go down the swimming bars. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Brother <laughs> <laughs> Mark. <laughs> Brother Mark, in confession of your faith, I baptise you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Let's, uh, I think you can stay in or you can come out. I don't mind. It's not that bad, actually. Yes? <laughs> have you got something you want to share? Okay, right. Yeah, Francis has something to share. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, There's something, um, I was praying about what to bring for Nicola, particularly, and um, she actually confirmed it on Thursday. So I'd just like to, to share this, and it's from Ephesians 6. <laughs> Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armour of God, that you may be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the full armour of God, that you may be able to resist in the evil day, and having done everything to stand firm. Stand firm, therefore, having girded your loins with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. In addition to all, taking up the shield of faith with which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming missiles of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, with all prayer and petition, Pray at all times in the Spirit, and with this in view, be on the alert with all perseverance and petition for all the saints, and pray on my behalf that utterance may be given to me in the opening of my mouth to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Amen. Shall we, shall we just pray for a moment? Let's do that. If anybody else wants to join in with prayer, please feel free. Father God, we do thank you for Nicola, we do thank you for Mark. We thank you, Lord, for the enthusiasm and zeal that they bring to the church. We thank you, Lord, that almost daily Mark seems to be putting things upon the men's group about things that he's learned and discovered. And we pray that that zeal, that enthusiasm would never die. But, Lord, you'd help their understanding and their knowledge to grow deeper. That, Lord, their love for you would grow stronger. And that, Lord, they would uh, grow to bear more fruit in their journey with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, I'd just like to thank you for today. I thank you for all our church. We are so blessed to be with you. I do. I feel quite overwhelmed. I just thank you, Lord, that you are with us. And you've looked after us and thank you for Rachel and Nigel for letting us use their home. And I pray that you give them a blessed holiday. Yes, I do just pray, Lord, that you keep looking over every single one of us. And thank you for Carrie Ann and Alex for being here with us today. I just say this in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. amen. Yes, Father, I'd like to say uh, thank you for today, a special day, uh, day of dedication, 
uh, to yourself. Um, thank you for the support of my wife and the church we've got here. Also, Carrie Ann as well. Yeah, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. share this moment and Lord Jesus we just thank you Father God that you are here Father God to save souls Lord that you desire Father God that none should perish and all come to repentance so Father God I just give you thanks and praise for my brother Nicola my sister Mark uh, my, my brother <laughs> my brother Mark my sister Nicola <laughs> I give you thanks and praise for them Lord Jesus that you love them Lord as much as we do Lord and so Father God it is Lord God, it's all about you, mm. Lord. So we just thank you for bringing us together at such a time as this, mm. Father God, for blessing us with a beautiful day, for allowing us to come into Nigel, Lord God, and Rachel's home, Lord. And Father God, to experience this, because Father God, baptism is such a wonderful thing, Lord. It's glorious to see people coming in, into your kingdom, Father God, declaring, Lord Jesus, their love for you and their service to you, Lord. So, Father God, help us to be an encouragement to Mark and Nicola, Lord. And may they be a blessing to us also, Father. So we give you thanks and praise in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. 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 Father, God, I thank you that we all got here safely. And I pray that you protect us as we all go forth to Mark and Nicholas and then home this evening. Lord, I thank you that um, oh, the home of Rick, um, Nigel and Rachel has been opened up today, Lord. I thank you that this opportunity has been such a beautiful opportunity and there's been no real stumbling blocks in place, Lord. I thank you that this day has been glorified to you, Lord, and pleasing to you. It's such a beautiful day to witness Mark and Nicola being baptised, Lord. It's such a powerful thing and it really is a testimony to you, Lord, and we thank you for your grace and your mercy. I pray that you'd watch over everyone here today, Lord, as we grow in faith, grow to knowing you, as we grow in thanks to you, Lord, as we really can't do anything of our own accord, Lord. Bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. 